Howdy and welcome back. I'm Drew from Gingo Productions, a freelance colorist working out of Melbourne, bringing you some more mediocre content. Today we're looking at RAW and how to get smooth playback. So when we're working in the color page, we want the best quality possible. So obviously we do some rendering when playing it back to our clients, and then we'd still retain that quality when we go to grade it. But if we're in the edit page, that quality really isn't that big of a deal. Now we can do proxies, we can do optimize media, and we can also do rendering. But there is another way that we can do to get that really smooth playback, and that is in the raw settings. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. That is really fast and really easy, and it's going to save you a whole bunch of time. Alrighty, so here on the edit page, and as you can see, I actually haven't done any rendering whatsoever, and this is not optimized media or proxies, and this will shot on a red scarlet using raw. So why do I get such smooth playback without rendering? Well, it is actually quite simple. All you have to do is come down your project settings here. Now under color raw, choose the camera that you're using. Now obviously we're using a red, which was shot on raw. Now for decode quality, I've changed it from, I think it is half res premium, half resolution premium to one eighth resolution good. So we can save that and we play that back. As you can see, we get perfect playback. Now, of course the image doesn't look as good, but to me, that's not really important when it comes to editing. One of the most important things for me when it comes to editing is smooth playback. It helps me to concentrate on the footage that I'm working with and helps me to craft that story that I'm trying to tell. If the footage is jumping all over the place, I really lose track of where I am and I end up just getting really frustrated. So if you're being frustrated with your footage, then go to the raw and have a play around and see what you can come up with. Of course, when you're done with editing and you want to retain that quality, all you have to do is come down to project settings here, change it back to full res premium, and then click save. That'll give you the highest quality image. You don't want to be grading in that low quality. You want to be grading in the highest quality possible to get the best image possible. And if you're having trouble with playback, just make sure to render your footage in the color page and everything should be fine. So I hope that tip has helped. It certainly helped me when working with raw files when doing editing. Now, if you're using files that aren't raw, of course you can do some rendering or you can do proxies, which is probably better when it comes to editing, which we'll go through in another day. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and have a great day.